Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Jujutsu Kaisen episode 20. Last episode ended on the biggest cliffhanger. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're about to get Toto's curse technique. And the whole episode was like this crazy battle. Yuji and Toto teaming up. Yeah. Yuji's Black Flash. So we had Toto and Yuji versus Hanami. Hanami's like formidable. Very formidable opponent. Yeah. That episode was brilliant. Things are really ramping up. Yeah, and definitely. It's hyping me up yeah. as well. Yeah, the show has gone to a different level of hype. Yeah. What's with this rose? Yeah, I don't quite understand Hanami and, you know, everything that she can do. Mm. I was more focused on Yuji and Toto, I think. Yeah, isn't it the greatest pairing? Oh, it's so good. Best of friendo. So good. Hilarious. Toto's flown up my ranks. Yeah, me too. The people did say it would happen. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I think we are quite predictable reactors, though, <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have to say. We're quite easily pleased, I think. I think so. I'm kind of expecting some sort of unspoken alliance, you know, with the two schools. they got to work together now for a common good. Yeah, the teachers are kind of, or well, the senseis are kind of working together. I don't know. Gramps was fighting with his guitar, but I don't know. Like, we haven't seen that wrapped yeah. up yet. We don't really know what that does entirely, or if he was just feeling like jamming out. Yeah, he just took out the guitar, but we didn't see him last episode, I don't think. Or at least I don't remember. Don't think so, yeah. Gojo's still trapped outside, the veil, and we haven't touched base with Mahito and Ghetto yet, so I'm assuming they might be in this episode as well. Yeah. But we're going to start off with Toto and his cursed technique, I'm going to assume, because that's exactly where we left off. We better. So I'm super excited about that. Me too. But we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members. And if you guys are interested in early access and the full length reactions to all of these episodes, make sure to check out our Patreon down below. Also, I'll leave the link to my Spotify and our Instagram down below if you guys want to follow us there. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. What the heck is going on here? I have no idea. Oh, so dang. In 3rd grade. Naruto, Namaiki wa Namaiki. Aite ga ore o namete te. That Toto? Yeah. Who is that? <laughs> yeah, he always says that. Yeah. What's your type? I like Toto's OST. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I'm so ready. Hey, why hasn't he used it yet? Too busy teaching. Okay, he's having a quick debrief. Kinomari. Toto's a genius, mate. Dude, he's so smart. Oh, the cursed bud, that's what the rose does. Well, Toto's explaining this better than Hanami has, so. Yeah, literally. Right, okay, so we maybe don't know exactly what it does yet. Yeah. Self-proclaimed IQ 530,000. What? Victory. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, Toto, not after all that. Oh no. Believe in him, Yuji. <laughs> oh crap! Oh crap! He's 
swapped the bodies. <laughs> So he intended for that to happen. Oh shit. Yeah, we've seen that before. <laughs> Boogie Woogie. <laughs> oh, so Hanami's got to play it real safe here. Look at him switch. Oh wow, that's so cool. Oh, this is sick, That's man. So cool. Yes. She probably defends each one of them differently. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Bossing it. Yeah, they're whooping her ass. He's having too much fun. <laughs> Is he gonna black flash her? Oh, so he's just it. Okay. Okay. I wonder if Yuji's gonna beat that. Mm. Go, go, go. <laughs> wow. It was so sick. I love the way they animate Yuji's kicks. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Come on, go, go for four. Oh, he baited oh, her. That's so good. Of course not. Okay. He's good. He's really good. Four in a row. <laughs> oh my gosh, man, this is crazy. Oh, they're not holding back. Yuji's making Toto feel just like the girl made him feel back yes. then. Yes. His boredom's going away. That's all we want for Toto. We want him to be at peace. That's exactly right. Okay. Dude, the animation recently has been next level. So good. <laughs> to be fair to Hanami, she's doing a good job. I mean, she's just strong. 1v2? Oh, okay. The first time ever. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. They're all poisonous, oh, right? Crap. This is going to be nothing for them. <laughs> oh, what? Not including himself. He's taking it for him. Aww. Okay, it's easy work for him. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's the girl he likes. Is he daydreaming right now? Yeah. This is all happening in his mind. This is insane. She's What the heck? 
Oh man. <laughs> okay, Yuji. The nunchuck. Ah. Oh. Enemy's got no hope. I'm sorry to say. Oh my gosh. What the heck is going on here? Oh, oh she's getting energy from the earth. Yep. Okay, okay, so that she... feels kind of wrong. I feel like she didn't play all of her cards yet. Great, okay, that's so, wrong. so that's what the arm does. That's why it looks so colorful. Oh. That's disgusting. What? Oh no, oh no. He's done for. Oh, Don't do it, Hanami. Shit. Ultimate expansion. Is the veil gone? Yeah. Is it Gojo? Hey. Oh, oh shit. I forgot how beautiful it was. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, go off. It's like sound waves. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, that is so sick. I oh, the writer's gone nuts with this one here. <laughs> No, enough with this. Aww, he's so nasty. Oh, what the heck? Who's this? What, what the heck is going on? Oh. That's messed up. Oh, these two working together. Yeah, it's great. What is this exchange here? Nobody got that. Gojo works hard. What the heck? What is that person doing? This... He's got to stop with that. It's not right. He's just going to take everyone on. <laughs> He's that sort of dude. He's like, I'll take this into my own hands. Thanks to Toto. Oh, yeah, whoop his ass. I'm sick of him. Please, yes. Oh. Yeah. Coat rack that dickhead. Angelo. 
Oh, look at his arms. Okay, they're going to question him. Oh my gosh! Yeah, of course not. I'm so annoyed that they didn't defeat it. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Some, yep, some shit's about to go down. Oh my gosh. Oh, red and blue makes purple. Yeah. Listen to the oh, track! Oh, dang! <laughs> oh my gosh, man. He's not even trying. What nah. the heck? <laughs> yeah, Mahito the slime ball. Oh no. She's got one of the bloody fingers. Look at Panda. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Nobara. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Panda. <laughs> Little bit annoyed that Hanami escaped. Did Hanami escape though? I think Gojo messed her up because Toto was like, we can't tell if she's been exercised yet. Oh, okay. I more mean the fact that, like, I wanted Toto and Yuji to beat her. Yeah, a little bit unsatisfying, isn't it? Yeah, that was a little bit unsatisfying. But we still don't know what's happened, so let's hold on to that. No, but even if Gojo did the dirty work, I wanted Toto and Yuji to get that win. Because Hanami was, like, wreaking havoc for, like, three episodes. Yeah. So that's a little bit annoying. On another note, what was with that new character? I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. I don't. All right. Like TBC with that one. Yeah. But I was happy to see Nobara and Mai. They're all right. Yes. <laughs> and they're working together kind of. They're trying to. Nobara is finding it difficult. Yeah. As much as they physically are capable of doing so. Mm. And mentally and emotionally and all that. Yeah. Now the old dude can shred. He can shred. I forgot his name. He's but an amp. Yeah. He's very good at guitar. Very good at guitar. And the dude that he was fighting. I'm so happy he got chopped up. I'm sorry, but. Yeah. He's just talking about coat racks and all this crap. I kind of felt bad because, no. like, no, the arms, Angelo, good. they weren't in a good place. No, they weren't, but he's out of action now. Yeah. I still don't really know his purpose. I think he's just meant to be this annoying dude on the other side. I don't know. All right. Like one of their recruits. Mojito's got a finger now, one of Sukuna's fingers. Yes. Now, I wonder who those two corpses were there. Hmm. I think it was obviously their plan to keep everyone in one place mm -hmm. while Mojito did the dirty and got the finger from wherever he got the finger from. Yeah, it was a distraction the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, Hanami did her job. She was too much for most of them. So they all had to kind of flock to Hanami. Yeah. To protect one another and Mojito's off doing his thing. I think probably Ghetto's doing the same. Probably getting more fingers or something like that. So what have they got now? Seven? I'm not sure how many they've actually got possession of. Ghetto said that there were six at the school. I'm pretty sure. Oh, right. So maybe he's just trying to retrieve them. I like how Toto got a little bit of like a backstory there. I also kind of like how they integrated the girl he likes. What was her name again? I don't remember. Into his like daydream state where he's like working out. Yeah, you know, how to defeat Hanami. Yeah, he's chosen her to be like the voice of reason in his mind. Well, yeah, he needs to be entertained. And I think so. <laughs> he's got to kind of entertain himself as well while he's daydreaming and, and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of creative thought that's gone into Toto as a character. Yes, definitely. Yeah. 
He's a smart dude. Yeah, he's so smart too. Yeah. And now we've seen his curse technique in action. And I think you're kind of right. You alluded to it in uh, in the reaction. We maybe got a glimpse of that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. He was protecting Yuji back then. Yeah. Yeah. Because he wasn't done with him yet. Yeah. So I think we did kind of see that already. I, I just wanted to go back to the, the loose unit blonde character that we saw. That what ties into what the other sensei was saying. Uh, the girl sensei. Yeah. Utami something. Yeah, I forgot. Utahim. Utahami. Uh, I don't know how to Yeah, something it, like yeah. that. I don't know her name. But uh, she was saying that Gojo was right. I think we're going to revisit that whole snake on their side of things. Okay. So he's got something to do with that. And he's infatuated with girls. Yes. The heck is going on? Yeah, he didn't make a good impression with the girls, though. They kind of all hate him already. He was going to stab her. With his hand sword that Thingo wielded for him. I've got no idea. No idea what's going on there. So it looks like that's probably getting revisited now. So before the season's up, we'll probably find out more about what's going on there, which is good. Yep. We got our second taste of Gojo's power. So it happened in episode 7 and now episode 20. And I think they've kept it apart because of how strong he... Like, he's just so much stronger than all of them. Toto was just... He wasn't even impressed because it's just, you know, he expects that from Gojo sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like well known amongst everyone, all sides, that Gojo is. He's the one. Yeah. That power, yeah, was crazy. What did he do? He just like, I don't know, said some words and then cut a hole in the universe. No big deal. Yeah, his technique merged the uh, the blue technique and the red technique into the purple flash or something. I forgot what it was called, mm, but that was pretty cool. Very good. I think... They must be, like, setting up Skuna vs. Gojo. I think so. I wonder what Skuna was thinking that whole time. Mm. Probably didn't serve him at all to make an appearance because Megami is nowhere near to be seen. No, he's just going to... No, but I don't even think now he's going to come out with Megami. I think he's kind of just going to come out at the worst possible time, probably in the last episode. Something like that. Yeah. I also think... uh, the reason why they're setting up Gojo and Sukuna, like it's so obvious, is because when Gojo comes out, no one that's present is even close to his level. Yeah. Like Mahito, no way. No. Ghetto. I mean, we haven't seen what Ghetto can do, but I'm going to say no, because otherwise he wouldn't be a sneaky bastard just slithering around everywhere like a dickhead, not showing his face. <laughs> Ghetto's at the bottom of my list with Gramps, but Gramps has kind of come up a little bit because he's... He's better than me at the guitar, so he's got to be, you know, above Ghetto. Maybe he's like D tier. Yeah. I'm just happy Nobra and Maya kind of, you know, a thing right now. You know, it was nice to see. Yeah, coming together. That's what I hoped for. Uh, no, not really. It may... <laughs> it's the start of something, maybe. They're not trying to kill each other, which is, you know, a big step for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And we kind of got to revisit Nanami again. Yeah thrilled to see him yeah i just wish he kind of joined in he was just you know at the bakery having a croissant or something he's a very sexy man i just like the way he carries himself me too yeah he's very mature very smart. Yeah. i think some of your top sort of male characters would come from this show would they not gojo and nanami yeah yeah they would i thought <laughs> so and maybe mr e Irwin. yeah mr e's up there as well yeah. I haven't quite decided the order yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a special video one day just going through like... Waifu you... and Husbando. Is I that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I'm going to struggle with my list. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There'll be quite a few. I'm sure people would be <laughs> interested in that. I'm pretty sure people do that. I think that's a thing. Is it a thing? Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll consider we'll... it. Maybe we'll do a tier list one day or something. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.